this excerpt that you're getting ready to watch is dealing with John Hansen and was he the first president. This comes from a presentation by myself, Michael M. Hotel of the African History Network show. It's entitled, Should African Americans Celebrate Black History Month Exposing the Myths? It's available at the African History Network dot com is item number 744. Item number 744, and it is four and a half hours. Be sure to pick up your copy today. Very interesting. How many people know this is? Okay. All right. So, what have you heard about John Hanson? Say again, brother. Okay. You saying that's what you heard, or you saying he was? He was. Okay. The sweat line. Say again. To the sweat line. The sweat line. Okay. All right. Now, what I say may be outside of some comfort zone. He's on the picture of the dollar bill. Two dollar bill. That's Two dollar what they bill. say. Yeah, yeah, Two dollar bill. bill. When? When? What year did he die? Uh, long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. <laughs> Yeah. On the on the back of the two dollar bill, what is that depicted? The what? No, on the back of the two dollar bill. Oh, they're, they're white men on the back of the two dollar bill. They are back there for these presidents. Well, what is that depicted on the back of the two dollar bill? That's when they were signing the uh, Declaration of Independence. Okay, you can disagree with me. That's fine. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna show you this stuff. If you still want to disagree with me? That's cool. I, like I said when in the beginning. You don't have to take my word for this. Go do your own research. Okay, now. All right, so when we look at the $2 bill, if you look on the reverse side, this is what is depicted right now. Uh, unfortunately, there's some misinformation about the $2 bill. Um, if you look at the what's circled in red, the way this myth goes is that this person is uh, John Hanson the Moore. The black John Hansen. Okay, uh, this scene is from June twenty eighth, seventeen seventy six. It's not the signing of the Declaration of Independence. It is the drafting of the Declaration of Independence by the five man committee. Okay, the adoption of the Declaration of Independence doesn't occur until the, to the fourth of July, seventeen seventy six, but it's not completely signed until uh, about August of um, 1776 August 2nd of 1776 um, you have about 52 signers who have signed it but there's still six who have not signed it but it was adopted the 4th of July 1776 okay now I've heard some Prince Hall Mason say that that's Prince Hall there as well okay now here's here's the problem with this theory this depiction is from a painting done by an artist named John Trumbull, Trumbull, which was commissioned in 1817. Okay. Next, what you see here is the actual painting from John Trumbull. All right. You can go to Answers.com and search for a, a two-dollar bill as well as Declaration of Independence. When you search for Declaration of Independence, look at the entry from uh, the Columbia Encyclopedia which does an excellent job on it and they talk about the, the actual um, signing of it August 2nd 1776 as opposed to July 4th uh, which most people think is the 4th of July however even though John Hancock signed it July 4th most of the others did not okay now when you look at the painting you'll see that nobody on the paintings of African descent you will see that the person who we had circled on the two dollar bill in fact just has a shadow over his face he's clearly European he just has a shadow over his face what has happened is that when that painting gets depicted on the two dollar bill and you're dealing with shades of uh, white and green or what have you okay it darkens his face and it gives fodder to the myth that this was a person of African descent. 
all right as we get more into this dealing with John Hansen and dispelling this myth about John Hansen you'll understand this as well but on the back of the two dollar bill there was no one of African descent uh, on the back of the two dollar bill all right and this is easily verifiable proper documentation ends all conversation all right, so now have you all heard also that he was a senator in Liberia? Yeah, I heard that. You heard that? Okay. Can anybody tell me what year he was born in? 1731? John Hanson. Can anybody tell me? Okay. Now, what year was Liberia founded? Probably 1821 by the American Colonization Society. And now we're starting to cook. All right, now, I don't use Wikipedia a lot as a source unless I can verify what's going on. Because I do, why oh, is this frozen? I do uh, a lot of research and the back of what I say. All right, now, how many people have looked at this picture? How many people have really looked at it? Okay. You notice this is a picture, not a painting, right? Okay. When were cameras invented? Oh. Hmm? The type of picture this is is called a Gore-type. The first camera. The Gore-type cameras were created in 1826. Okay. Now, if we look at if we look at what's here, and there's a link on loc.gov, I want to show you. All right. Uh, it says here for John Hansen, this is from Wikipedia, but we can verify this stuff. It says um, he was an African, he was an African American associated with the American Colonization Society, which sought to relocate blacks in Liberia. Uh, in Liberia, he served as a senator from Grand Bassa County. Can we senator, huh? Senator Hansen has recently been confused with an earlier John Hansen, a white politician from Maryland, who served as president of the Continental Congress during the American Revolution. According to this urban myth, John Hansen of Maryland was actually uh, black and also the president of the United States. Inter internet sites promoting the hoax used the photograph of the John Hansen of Liberia to support the claim, even though photography had not yet been invented when the early John Hansen was living. Okay, now, if you go look up the Gore-type, you go look up the Gore-type camera, that was, that was invented in uh, 1826. Okay, D A G U E R R O T Y P. Don't take my word for this. Go look that up, and it gives you the history of cameras. And that was now also the the picture that they showed you from research that I've done. That's from around 1856. We don't know if the technology in 1826, when the Gore type was created, could produce that quality of picture. See, that could be second generation technology, third generation technology. Mm -hmm. Let me give you an example. How many people knew that you had some people that worked in government or high-level sales? They had cell phones in their car in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Yeah. People know them, right? Yeah. Okay, so, uh, and my dad used to work for Motorola in the 70s, so he had one in his car. James Bond had one in 19. James Bond had one. Yeah, yeah. If, you look at, if, you look, if you look at the Bill Cosby, Cindy Portier movie, uh, Uptown Saturday Night, yeah. uh, Biggie Smalls has one in his car. Right. That's not make-believe. That, that technology actually existed. Everybody just didn't have one. The yeah. bills were probably $1,000 a month, $2,000 a month. And okay. President, President Kennedy had touched on phone. Okay, yeah. When he was president. Yeah, because so of 63, so yeah. they had it. They had, the technology they had was quite a way back. Exactly. Right. And the tones on the movie, um, the submarine movie, um, yeah. Going on Bottom of the Sea. Okay. The tones on there, that, they, that movie was made in 1963, and the tones on that movie would give you a government office if you would took your old phone and put it up to the TV and it put the tones into the phone. Okay. It would give you the uh, United States government uh, classified area. Okay. Okay, excellent, excellent. So here's the thing. It's like somebody saying, well, people had phones in their car in the 70s and 80s, so they were sending text messages then. When all text messages, first text message was sent in 1992. So they, 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 they didn't have that technology, especially out on the market. That's coming from digital technology. They didn't have that technology. So just because somebody had a cell phone in their car in 1960 does not mean they were sending text messages. Okay, that's, that's, 
those gener that's generations later of technology, okay? So in 1826, when the Gore type is invented, we don't even know if it could, I don't even know if it could produce that quality of picture, okay? That's from 1856, that picture, okay? Now, he serves Continental Congress 1781, 1782, he dies in 1783, and if people think he was the same guy who was a senator in Liberia, okay, well, Liberia wasn't founded until 1821, okay? And I forgot his exact birth date. I had this somewhere. I forgot his exact birth date. But based upon his birth date, if he was also uh, a senator of Liberia, the youngest he could be at that time was 105 years old. Okay? And that's 1821. If that picture of him, that's a good divorce type, if that picture was taken in 1826, based upon his birth date, the youngest he could be there is about 110. If he's the same, if people are trying to tell me he's the same guy who was a senator in Liberia, okay? Now, here. Now, on this, um, in this article, they provide the links to back up what they're saying. There's a link here reference, references American Colonization Society. It's a link that tells, takes you to loc.gov, which is the Library of Congress's website. That's where they have a lot of artifacts, pictures, things like that, okay? They show you the Gore type picture of Senator John Hansen, who was a senator to Liberia in the circa 1856, okay? What's happened, no offense to anybody, but what's happened is he has been confused with uh, a white senator named John Hansen. <coughs> this guy right here. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. This is a commemorative, you can look this up, don't take my word for this. I did a lot of research on this. This is a commemorative stamp from the U.S. Postal Service, 1981, Senator John Hansen. It says, John Hansen, Presidential Congress, uh, Presidential, President Continental Congress, okay? This is from 1981. You can Google that. You can go to usstamps.com. That's where I got it from. LOC.gov may have it also, okay? <coughs> so what's happened is, now, the first problem we have is that he dies in 1783, so he dies about 40 years before the camera is invented to take the picture that he's shown. That's the first problem we have. Second problem also is if you look at his contemporaries, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, John Adams, who was the second president, not to be confused with his son, John Quincy Adams, who was the sixth president, because Michelle Bachman didn't know the difference between the two of them. She was running for president. <laughs> look at Samuel Adams. These people, these were all contemporaries back at that time, 1776, right? You don't see any photographs of them, only paintings. Because they died before the camera was invented. Okay? So, this is what we're dealing with. They're confused. Now, a couple of days ago, I talked to Booker T. Coleman, because I already did the research on this, so I just wanted to see what he said. And I asked him about this. I'm doing a presentation on Saturday. I'm going to deal with this, know the touch of subject, things like that. Don't mean to hurt anybody's feelings, but, you know, you need to know the truth. So I said, what do you know about John Hansen being the president? He said, there were two John Hansons. We're confusing them yeah, with yeah. The, white, the white senator, John Hansen. Okay? Then I break down stuff to him. I say, well, the camera was invented in 1826, so how could you have a picture of a man who died in 1783? So I was breaking down stuff to him. He wasn't even sure, didn't even know about. And then I broke this down to him about the stamp showing the real John Hansen. But he, but he told me, he said, even if the more John Hansen was president, because I'm not denying that he was a more, I'm not denying that he was sent to Liberia. I understand all that. I believe that. That's true. He said, even if he was president, he said, why would we be happy about that? I said, well, what do you mean? He said, well, we were slaves when he became president, and we were slaves when he left the presidency. So, so what are we talking about? What are we bragging about? Okay? Then I, I said, damn, you're bragging right about that. He said, what good did it do us? Okay? So uh, I was trying to, I wanted to show you, but on LOC.gov, yeah. they show you, I'm going to see if I can get on there. On LOC.gov, they show you <laughs> the Gore type picture of... Senator of Senator to Liberia, John Hanson, the Moore, in the circa 1856, because that technology didn't exist when he died in 1783. So we're confused. The, the, the problem with the internet, the internet is very powerful. But as uh, Professor Manu and Pim explained this to me, he said, you can educate or miseducate thousands of people with a few keystrokes. Okay? And unfortunately, this is what's happening. And, and what, I, what I explain to people is that we have. <clears throat> We have thousands and thousands of years of actual history. So we don't have to try to claim something that can easily be proven wrong. 
Right. Okay, because when we put things out like that that can be proven wrong, then what it does, it, it tends it's to hurt right. the whole genre mm -hmm. when it comes to African history and making the case for it in the schools, things like that. Okay? So what I'm going to try to do is get this up, show this to you, because this is this one to find Liberia 1821. All right, when you go through, we go down here, it says additional views right here. It says John Hansen, six plate, the Gore type, circa 1856. You click there and look at the picture, I rest my case. Mm, that's sending the John Hansen from Liberia. They're confusing this. Now, this is from 1856, this picture. I told you the Gore type camera wasn't invented until 1826. This is from 1856, so he had to be down there 140. If he was the same guy, okay? So a lot of this stuff, we just do some research. We can figure this stuff out, okay? Proper documentation ends all conversation and that ends this presentation. Thank you for watching Should African Americans Celebrate Black History Month by Michael M. Hotep of the African History Network. For more DVDs from Michael M. Hotep and other African-centered scholars, please visit us at www.theafricanhistorynetwork.com, theafricanhistorynetwork.com. For more information or to inquire about having Michael M. Hotel to speak at your next event, please contact him by email at theahnshow at gmail.com, theahnshow at gmail.com, or by phone at 313-462-0003, 313-462-0003. At the African History Network, we focus on educating, empowering, and inspiring people of African descent throughout the diaspora and around the world. Remember, right knowledge corrects wrong behavior in Mod Hotel.